take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so <clears throat> we start with the first mode. This is the normal mode. There is uh, no FCC hack. There is no YAG, YAG extenders on the antennas. We start and I go up to approximately 50 meters height and the drone is directed to the small village that is straight ahead. I think it's two or two and a half kilometers away. So now I use the sport mode to be faster. It was a sunny, uh, sunny day. The wind was uh, minimal. And we fly over all those fields. Distance is now 700 meters away. Need to go higher because there is an elevation on the terrain, on that area. As you can see, the neighboring village is right in front of me, one kilometer away. The signal is still strong. Only one bar is missing. Now I get a yellow RC signal. I go closer and finally it is 1500 meters away. Okay, the flight uh, height seems to be 125 meters, but uh, this is actually from the home point, the elevation. Now I'm going back. The speed is uh, 15 to 16 meters per second, very fast. The RC signal, as you can see on the top right, was up to this point, it was yellow, now it is white yellow again so i suppose it changes bands between 2.5 and 5.7 megahertz everything looks fine the video on the phone is okay This is the home point, the house right in front of me, in the middle of the two other ones. The important thing here is that uh, I sit on the right side of the house, so this means that uh, now I have the whole house in front of me and the transmitter. And now I decide to go down to the other village that is closer to me. And I think this is the best test in all these three configurations, the normal, the Yagi mode, and the FCC mode. And this is because now I have actually the whole house in front of me and the direction of the transmitter is 
to the left. But you see here, so this is, I have uh, obstacles, a huge house in front of me. Now I have only two bars and the RC signal is uh, orange. I'm on top of the village and somewhere here I lost control, the transmitter lost connection. As you can see, the video stops, weak signal, aircraft not connected to the remote control, and now the return to home, home. is initiated. And the drone starts to come back. Okay, we're back, and now we have part two of, the, of this test. Take off. There is still no FCC hack, but now I have adjusted, I have put on the Yagi extenders on the transmitter, and I'm trying to follow exactly the same route as before, going up to 50 meters of height. and then proceed to go to the neighboring village again. It is not going as fast as before, I guess. There was some wind from the opposite direction. Now flying to this direction, I have to say that uh, I have the transmitter directly pointed to the drone and the only thing that uh, lies in front of me and the drone is uh, a car because I'm sitting down in an uh, armchair. But other than that, it is a clear space. Now we're at almost 600 meters away. The signal is strong. Now I have the first bar going down from the RC signal. Okay, so now using the Yagi extender, the first bar goes down at approximately 800 meters away. While as you can see, uh, without the Yagi extender, the first bar went away at uh, 547 meters. Now this is interesting that the second bar went down at approximately 1,000 meters, but without the Yagi extender, it went away at 1,300 meters. So this is a conflicting result. The first bar goes down earlier without the Yagis and the second bar goes earlier with the Yagis. If I compare the whole flight from uh, my home point to this village, there I think that the flight looks uh, like it is the same. No noticeable difference between the two uh, flights without the Yagi extenders and with the Yagi extenders. Okay, now let's go down to the other village and remember that now my uh, transmitter 
point to the first village and uh, so it does not point to uh, the drone. Uh, it is exactly the same setup between the two tests and also I have a whole house, I'm sitting beside my house in the shade and I have the whole house in front of me between the transmitter that looks at left and the drone that is here going straight forward. Now, at this point, we see no difference between uh, Yagi or no Yagi flight because uh, the two bars go down almost exactly at the same point. As you can see. I fly over the village and see when am I going to lose connection with the transmitter, signal lost here, go a bit further, with three bars, two bars now, three again, and somewhere here I'm losing connection. And it is interesting that I'm losing connection at uh, almost 550 uh, meters with the Yagi extenders, while before I lost connection at 800 meters without the Yagi extenders. So again, the result here of this test is mixed. I'm going back and finally, I'm going to try the last part of the, of the test with only the FCC hack. Now, there are no Yagi extenders. The home point has been updated. And I have Please activated the, the FCC hack. I'm going up. Not going to go straight away to the neighboring village, but straight down at the village that is close to me. So now I'm flying towards the village that is exactly next to me. Remember, I still point the transmitter exactly the same way in all of this uh, video to the left and there is a, a big house right in front of me. I'm actually sitting behind the house on an armchair. It looks fine so far, only one bar down. Two bars down now with the FCC hack. Now we're up to one, back to two. It looks okay, the video looks okay, the connection seems alright, a normal flight. Remember now that uh, in the first experiment with no Yagi, just the normal mode and no FCC, I lost total control connection to the transmitter at 800 meters away and the drone started to the process to return to home. Now I'm at uh, <clears throat> almost 700 meters away with two bars on the RC transmission. Now three bars on. I'm approaching the 800 meters. That was a maximum distance before. We passed that distance. We go to 900 meters with two bars, the video is okay, that I get in my phone. We go to almost 1,000 meters, one kilometer away now, still connected with three bars. Eleven hundred meters away, still connected with two bars, with no real problems.
just a bit of lag there. Almost 1300 meters now. But with the FCC hack, it looks it looks okay. We are almost at the double distance than before, with no with not losing the the connection. And at this point, I will return back because I have only 36 percent. Batteries. I did not try to go Battery any level is further. Low. The aircraft will I get actually to the get point in 10 seconds. the warning message here that the aircraft is going to return home because home. there is no, not enough battery left to return to home. So, as you can see, uh, I think that, uh, of course, the FCC hack is the best way to, to fly. We all know that. The, the power of the transmitter is not limited, so it actually uh, flew uh, double the distance with no, without any disconnection. Uh, it did return to home uh, because uh, the battery was low, but not because it lost connection to the transmitter. Uh, with respect to, other two, to the other two tests, uh, the normal one without the FCC hack and without the Yagi extenders, and the second test with the Yagi extenders. Uh, I think that uh, the test is inconclusive. Uh, in some points, the normal mode was better than the Yagi mode, and in some other cases, the Yagi mode uh, was looking a bit better than, uh, the, uh, than the normal mode. Bottom line for me is that the Yagi extenders are, uh, are not necessary, okay? They provide no actual uh, benefit to the transmission. Of course, the FCC hack is the superior one.